What is all going on guys? Welcome to another video of my Mariners cap franchise series here on YouTube where we try to bring the Mariners to glory while trying to keep track of all of the caps that have been created by our Twitch and YouTube community. You can see two of them right here on your screen, James Combest and Fister Furbush. Yes, these two got paired together. Yes, it's the greatest luck in the world that Combest and Furbush randomly got placed not only together, but on my team. Uh, if you want to add your own cap to this franchise series, fill out the Google form in the description. That's all you got to do. In the very next spring training that I have, your cap will be randomly placed on a team with a random potential 85 to 99, and you can join the fun. This episode here is going to be all about the caps, nothing else. It is going to be the first part of this cap, uh, cap recap is what I'm going to be calling it, where we'll take a peek just at our caps, how we've done any minor league stats that are applicable. This portion is right at the end of the minor league season. We will kind of go over it a little bit more later in the video at the complete end of the season. Uh, but this is the minor league season simply because of two reasons here. And or, uh, one reason, uh, let me give you an example. Um, let's do Antion Roussel here as an example. He is in AAA for the Bravos. And I want to be able to see his stats. He's in 233, eight home runs. The problem, and I hope this is fixed for franchise either this year or in coming years, minor league stats sticking around needs to be a thing. Once you sim to, I believe, the 24th of the final month, these stats disappear and you cannot see what players have done in their minor league season. I, I think it's a huge oversight. It can't be that hard to fix or change. Um, so you can't wait until the end of the season unless they're in the major leagues. But if they're in the minor leagues, you have to look before you sim to the 24th or the 23rd, I believe or else you will lose the ability to look at these statistics, which I, I think is a huge oversight. I want to see what these guys have done in the minor leagues. So that's what we're going to do here. The step one, or the part, part one of this video is going to be taking, taking a peek at all, all the caps real quick and seeing what their stats were. Cause I think people are interested in that. They want to see how their cap did. Uh, so we're just going to go in order here. Jameson Cumbass, which is mine. He did play in the major leagues, So this is someone that we could wait to check out, but we're just going to do it now while we're here. 37 at bats, 297, did have three home runs. Fister Furbush also was up in the major leagues, 20 games, hit 227, hit two bombs as well. We will look at the attributes later. That, that'll that be part two at the actual end of the season um, where we'll look at all of the attribute improvements. Uh, the Texas Rangers don't have any caps. The Braves have two. Big Poppy, who... For some reason, they have them still in, in single A. I wish the AI was better with promotion and demotion. There's no way a 73 overall first baseman should be in the minor leagues. Just no way. No way. But it is what it is. Uh, so Big Poppy, single A, didn't have any stats. Arusel, we just looked at. Which, to be honest, I really don't even need to go here. Because um, everything important is up here on the screen. So Roussel, two, 233, eight bombs, 34 RBI in his first minor league season. The Marlins, we have Jimmy Sweater Vest, 255, hit nine bombs, drove in 46 for the Jumbo Shrimp. The Marlins, triple A affiliates. The Mets have two. Rendon, if he cared, hit 397. Granted, only 58 at bat, so he definitely got promoted. Um, that's another thing. If they got promoted... Granted, they don't play single A, but if somebody got promoted from double A AA to triple A, I want to see their damn double A stats before they got promoted. Just small quality of life stuff that I wish we could see. Uh, Pulhos is in single A, so he doesn't ha have any stats. Crazy that he's in single A. Kyle Hart for the Phillies here. Uh, he was in triple A. Um, 306, 11 bombs, 50 runs batted in, 304 bats. A great minor league season for Kyle Hart. We have two here, Cox and Smoke, the Smoke Cox Show. Hugh Cox stayed in, the, in single A, didn't play. Joey Smoke, 13 bombs, 51 driven in, stole 14 bases, 272, 
371 at bats, a great season for him as well in AAA for the Nats. Uh, the Cubs have one. I'm just kidding, two. Brian Simmons, five overall improvements so far. Remember, a lot of these guys start at 70. Most of them start at 70. 22 home runs for Brian Simmons. 312, 70 RBIs. My God, dude. What a freaking year in AAA for Brian Simmons. Slobber knocker. He made it to the major leagues as the closer. 357 ERA. Um, 53 innings. Not bad. We can see his stats at the end, but he did bl- bl- blow five saves. Okay. Over five, baby. O- o- over five. It's okay. It's okay. For the uh, For the Reds. Jimmy Edmonds Jr., 13 bombs, 48 RBIs, 265. Not bad for him. The Brewers do have two. Robert Jones, the number one overall prospect in baseball, and for some reason he is still in single A. Gotta love it. Chuck Norris, 16 bombs, 60 driven in, 279 average. Scored 57 times, nearly 500 at-bats. Great season for Chuck Norris as well. Pirates did not get a cap. Neither did St. Louis. Neither did the defending NL champions. Or did the Rockies. Um, Those aren't... Dodgers didn't get one. Uh, Dodgers didn't get any either, thank God. Um, Two here for the Padres. Seth Ross, Nats fan. Nine bombs, 32 RBIs, 232 average. Juan Gonzalez, 251, 10 bombs, 31 driven in, scored 30 times. The Giants, I don't think the Giants got any, and they did not. The Orioles have two, Mr. Squiggles, who clearly just got promoted to the major leagues. He's, you see here, he only has 38 at-bats. I mean, I guess that doesn't mean he just got promoted, but I'm pretty sure that he did. 447 in his first 38 major league at-bats. Three bombs, 10 RBIs. Mr. Squiggles laying claim to an already crowded outfield for Baltimore, which, by the way, did trade for James Wood in this franchise series. So their already stacked outfield gets more stacked as James Wood enters (laughs) the Orioles outfield. Frank Reynolds got promoted as well. Only 17 at-bats. It looks like he only has two hits. He'll get there, though. He'll get there. Boston has won. Tony Cummins, AAA. But another great year for uh, for Tony Cummins. Five, uh, 507 at-bats, 22 bombs, 56 RBI, hit 264. But you do see that he gained five overall points. Again, we'll check that out a little more in depth later on in the video. Uh, the Yankees have two, Bianchi and Mick, and Mick Homersworth. Bianchi is up in New York, 271, nine home runs, 19 RBI so far. Daddy McHomersworth, 141 at-bats for Scranton, 277, five home runs, 22 RBI. Tampa Bay only has one. That's Kevin Shepard, 13 home runs, 59 driven in, 239, pretty much played in Durham all season long with the 451 at-bats. Toronto has one, Taruna Fuji. Taruno Fuji, 235. He is up in the majors. Seven home runs, 32 runs battered in. The White Sox have won. Tiago Suter, the center fielder, playing, I believe, yeah, in a triple-A. Seven bombs, 248. An average year for him to start. But, again, they're all 18 years old. They'll be fine. The Guardians didn't get any. Um, Detroit also did not get any. The Royals got one. Jack Meoff is a pitcher. 14 and two innings. I think that means he just got promoted. I mean, only pitching 14 innings tells me he probably started in single A. Um, But he's allowed one run, I believe. 12 strikeouts, four walks. So a good couple first starts in theory for Jack Meoff in his minor league career. Peter Griffin. Catcher just got promoted to the majors or, 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 you know, a couple days ago last week has not had his first at bat yet. So no stats to look at for him. The Astros have two hack attack. 
is in AAA, as is Cody Brever. 228, eight home runs, 42 driven in for Hack Attack. Brever, only 184 at bats, seven home runs, 255 average. The Angels don't have any. The A's don't have any. And we are back to Seattle. So those are the stats. Those are the stats so far. Um, now let's move on to the end of the season and let's actually take a little bit more in depth look at the awards, how people actually finished, where their attributes finished. I mean, I know you guys can see it on the top right here when you go through, but I want to open up and look at stuff a little more in depth for every single cap. All right. Now the season is over. You see that we have the prospects here that we just drafted. But we're only going to look at the caps here. So we'll go in a little more in depth into the attributes. Remember, all of the caps started with the exact same numbers. 60 contact and power. Um, vision, discipline, and clutch was all 50. Bunting was 30. Drag bunting was 15. Durability was 80. Fielding was 60. Arm accuracy in reaction was all 55, and you see speed, seal, and base running aggressiveness, 50, 40, 40. Everyone, every position player started out that same way. So you see Cumbest here jumped four spots, jumped four spots, four overall points, which is huge. He does have a full year of MLB service already. 271 finished with three home runs. Mr. Furbush improved four as well. Improved four as well. These guys are going to be absolute monsters offensively because I started the contact and power higher than everything else besides durability. I want these dudes to hit. That's the whole point. We all want our caps to hit and put up some sweet numbers. Um, so th that's why now that I put contact and power up at 60. Maybe power could have been 50 and I could have done something somewhere else. Nah, chick stayed the long ball, baby. So there's Fister Furbush. We go to the Rangers here. They didn't have any. The Braves, Big Poppy, finished at 73. Another 2, 3, 4 improvement here. And you look at Antheon Roussel. Did drop 3 in steel, 3 in base running aggressiveness, dropped 2 contact, but was able to get a couple 5s, or a 1-5 and a good chunk of 4s for the rest of his offensive stats. Um, the Marlins here, Jimmy Sweater Vest, he only improved one point. He absolutely got hammered offensively. He lost so many points in power. He couldn't hit lefties, apparently. Dropped one in power versus right. So only improving one is not great, but he's only 19. They've all improved one one year. I think I think he'll be okay. He might just be a little less than the others. Rendon, if he cared, jumped up four. Pretty solid across the board here. Threes, fours, fives. Didn't lose anything. He's up to a 74. Pull-offs, exact same thing. Threes, fours, and a five. He also jumped up four with no service time. Great for pool house. Um, Kyle Hart jumped up four as well. This seems to be the consensus. One of the very few guys, I, I believe, to get some speed and steal. Um, so he... He did get some speed and steel as well. He did get a six in contact versus right, which is pretty huge. And he is up to a 74. The Nats, the Cox Smoke Show, baby. Hugh Cox did get up four as well. Seems to be the average, a bunch of threes and fours. Joey Smoke only improved two. Did not see a ton of offensive improvement. Did lose one steal. Didn't see a ton of defensive improvements. Maybe he didn't play a lot. I am not sure. Uh, Brian Simmons gained five overall points. He absolutely crushed it contact-wise up to, du to dual 68s and was still able to get a bunch of threes and fours. The defense, fours and fives as he's going to be playing at third base. He did lose some steal and some aggressiveness. Who cares? Those offensive improvements are great, and he is up to a 75. Slobberknocker, the closer, uh, dropped a stamina. Who cares? He's a closer. Dropped a couple hits per nine. That's kind of important. But he does get some K per nine, walk per nine, home runs per nine, which is great, plus one control. 
didn't improve incredibly, but they're not like the offense. They don't need to be a 95 to be great. Bullpens can be mid-70s, low-80s, and still be dominant. It's just how the sim takes it. So a, a, a slobber knocker should be okay. The Reds, Jim Edmonds Jr., he only gained two. Very odd. Very odd with this one. He loses a power versus left, but he can hit lefties, plus eight. He does see some speed and steel improvements. He improved defense pretty well and saw some, some other solid improvements. But man, what a weird, weird improvement. Plus eight, minus one, and got some speed. Jimmy Edmonds, up to, to a 72. The Brew Crew, Robert Norris, or Robert Norris, Robert Jones, the number one potential in baseball, the 99 potential. Holy Lord, this guy should be starting in the majors next year. I mean, with the Brewers rotation, maybe not. We'll see. Everything up three or four. Stamina would be nice if that could improve a little bit. Velocity break. Uh, the fielding is good. Not that that's super relevant with pitchers. It's nice to have, but eh. But Robert Jones, the number one prospect in baseball, the second one to improve five overall points in his first minor league season. Chuck Norris jumped up two. Again, another odd, obscure one. Lost three points power. Got a six, couple fives. Defense was well. Gained some steel and some aggressiveness and only gained two. It's because he lost that power in the lefty. Pirates don't have anybody. Cardinals, no. D-backs, no. Rockies, no. Dodgers, no. Padres have two. Juan Gonzalez jumped up three. Potential, the first potential that we've seen to go down. Juan Gonzalez did have a 91 potential. He has dropped to a B. So at the minimum, he has dropped at least two points. Yes, we could go in and see specifically, but that's not part of the fun. We knew what he started as. We know he's at least a B now. So he has dropped at least two potential points. The improvements are still not bad, though. Yes, he lost some power versus left, but everything else was two threes or fours. Um, so the overall is going up, but the potential did go down. Seth Nats fan. No power versus left. Got the contact versus left. Improved three, four, fives across the board, which is pretty solid. Jumped three points up to a 73. No speed. Did get a steal, though. Okay, it's not bad. It's not bad. The Giants, we don't see any. The Orioles, we see two. Mr. Squiggles did play in the majors, of course. Three home runs. Ended 463 was 19 for 41, tore the cover off the ball in his first 12 Major League games. Holds his rookie status, though. Plus six, bunch of threes and fours. Good improvement from Mr. Squiggles, up to a 73. Frank Reynolds only jumped up two, lost some speed, lost some steel. Didn't improve defense as much as he probably would have liked. Didn't improve offense enough. But again, he only played six games. I don't know what his AAA stats were. Again, I wish that we could see that. It's silly that that they can't keep track of that. But two for 22 to start his Oriole career, I'm sure that will improve. Red Sox have won. Tony Cummins, our third guy to jump up five overall points. Even though he lost four steal and four aggressiveness, was able to get contact versus right and left. Threes, fours, five, and some sixes on the improvement. And Tony Cummins is a 75. Go to the Yankees. They should have two. William Bianchi dropped power versus left a little bit, but everything else, three, four, five, able to get a couple sixes and one seven, which is pretty, pretty huge. 273, seven bombs, 20 RBIs to finish off the year. But that plus six and plus seven is pretty substantial. It's unfortunate he lost a, a, a couple points in power versus left, but hey. Contact is just fine too. Means you get on base. It, it's all good. Daddy McHomer's worth a 91 overall potential first baseman for the Yankees. 
improved defense pretty well. Some twos and threes didn't get any vision increase, which is a little unfortunate. Um, the contact and power probably could have a little bit better. He would have hoped, but one, three, four, five is not bad. Gaining three points, and at 19 years of age, he is a 73. The Rays only have one. It's Kevin Shepard. The minus seven, we saw that earlier. Not great. Lost some steel. Still gained two, though, and didn't lose any of his potential. He's still in 93 potential. Contact versus right went up. He struggled to hit the lefty. He, he, he is a lefty. Maybe that's part of it. I'm sure it is. But everything else, threes and fours, so not bad. Even losing seven, he's still able to gain the two overall points. Blue Jays, we only see one, and that's Taruno Fuji. Uh, didn't see a lot of offensive improvements from contact power, except for contact versus left. Threes and fours across the board did lose one in power left. Clearly didn't hit a lot of bombs, which is weird. 253, eight home runs. Like, that's a... That's a okay rookie se- like a rookie season. Played 90 games, hit eight home runs as a 18-year-old, and you don't really gain any power. All right. Hey, it is what it is. The White Sox have won at Tiago Suter, the center field, only improved one. Got some speed increase, some defense. Didn't really didn't get any power versus uh power or contact. A little bit. Um Probably could see some more, but hey, Thiago Suter got a little bit, gained one, and is up to a 71. Guardians don't have anybody. The Tigers also did not get anybody. The Royals only have one. That's Jack Meoff, the pitcher. He's able to get up four points, everything across the board, except for stamina, below and break. Went up three and four for the double-A Naturals pitcher, Jack Meoff. Twins have won the catcher, Peter Griffin. He still did not get a major league at bat in Minnesota. Didn't see a ton of improvement, only improved the one. He is a 97 potential. So not getting that much improvement in year one. We'll delay him a little bit, but he'll be okay. To the Astros, where we have two, both were in AAA. Hack attack improved three points, lost some contact versus left, but gained power versus left. Everything else, two, three, four. Lost some steel, only one power versus right. Could be worse, could be better. Did gain three points, though, for hack attack. Cody Brever dropped three points, power versus left. Lost some steel, only gained one point, uh, mainly because of those three minus threes, but... It could have been way, way worse across the board. Not bad for Cody Brever. Jumped only one. Uh, The Angels had nobody. The A's had nobody, and that may be it. It is. That's it. Um, The awards are gone, uh, but there was was no real awards to look at for these teams. There's nothing. Oh, geez. There's nothing really to look at quite yet. Uh, as we're technically just started the off season, I wanted to see the potentials knowing now I probably won't do that going forward, but I had to test it. So it's okay. It's okay. So that is our cap recap for season number one. Nobody lost any overall, uh, below the 70 threshold. Only one cap lost some potential. Maybe he can get it back. I don't know. We will see. That's our cap recap for season one, though. We'll be back in the next uh, next episode where it is off season time. One of my favorite times playing franchises, going through all the off season, signing all the players, and shaping the roster every year. Like I am the GM. I appreciate you guys again. If you want to add your cap to this series, fill out uh, the Google form in the description, and I'll get you in. Hit that comment, like, or hit that like. Toss a comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, whatever you'd like to do to help out. I appreciate you. Thank you guys for watching the video. We'll catch you on the next one.